What's up guys, Sal here. So even before people get the opportunity to get their hands on the new iPhone 14 lineup, Apple has gotten itself into a big trouble that will effectively ban the iPhones altogether, including the iPhone 14 lineup in this key smartphone market. You see, removing the charger from the inbox content of the iPhones was a controversial decision and even today, two years later, is still a controversial decision because Brazil's Ministry of Justice has banned iPhone sales across the country including the iPhone 14 lineup. The primary reason for this is Apple's decision to stop including a power adapter with the purchase of the new iPhones. And not only that, but Brazil has also fined Apple $2.4 million each day it breaks this ban, which means if Apple stops selling iPhones or starts bundling the chargers with the iPhones, then it won't see this fine. Apple tried to argue that they did it for the environment as it reduces carbon wastage. But you, I, your dog, and even Brazilian ministry knows that this is Brazilian authorities didn't buy Apple's explanation and argued that Apple could have taken other measures to help the environment, such as adding USB-C charging support to its iPhones. The authorities have also stated that Apple has not shown if removing the charger had any of the environmental benefits that Apple claimed to justify its move. So they decided that selling devices without a power adapter is a deliberate discriminatory practice against consumers and banned the iPhones in Brazil until Apple decides to include charging with them. Apple said that they'll appeal this decision saying, we've already won several court rulings in Brazil on this matter and we're confident that our customers are aware of the various options for charging and connecting their devices. Now you might wonder what about Samsung? Since they're also not including the charger with their phones, then how come Samsung phones aren't banned in Brazil? Well the reason Samsung phones aren't banned is Samsung directly worked with Brazilian authorities to bundle pre-orders of new Galaxy phones with a gift charger. Moving on, one of the interesting features of the iPhone 14 Pro is the dynamic island. It effectively camouflaged the pill cutout with information on things like notification, calls, timers, music and more. Now the beauty of Android platform is that it's much open to third-party app developers. So an Android developer has already made a dynamic island style notification area for an Android device. As you can see, it successfully manages to hide the pinhole selfie camera in the corner when the island is expanded. Now Xiaomi hasn't approved the design just yet, but don't be surprised if they are the first one to come up with some Thing like this officially. Now I don't think Samsung would implement this on their flagships because this would ruin the experience for selfie cameras because you'd need to clean the front camera lens every time you use it but you never know. They've copied Apple in the past with chargers, headphone jacks and more so I wouldn't be surprised if it happens again. To see Samsung making fun of Apple and the iPhone 14 Pro for the fourth time click here and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.